Hey, this is Pastor James, and I just wanted to give you an encouragement as we are seeking to to grow in our joy as we approach Christmas Eve, which is only a few days away. And thank you for all of you who have signed up for the Christmas Eve services coming up. It's very exciting to see that all of the pre-reserved seating is almost gone, so get in there quick if you want it. Um, one of the things that I want to talk to you about is how uh, joy feels uh, like something that, you know, it's hard to pin down, and it's hard to figure out, and it's hard to understand. And as a result, it's true, you've seen it in life, that many people give up. They just give up trying to find joy. And that's a sad thing to see that people, uh, I think a lot of the reason is because people are really honestly uh, uh, given false roadmaps for joy. They're given bad directions. And as a result, they just end up super lost. Now, my question for you today is, because un, un, inevitably you've had joy in your life, you've experienced joy, is how will you maintain joy in your life? How are you going to make sure that joy is something that is an ongoing thing? And you might think, man, that doesn't, that sounds crazy because joy is not one of those things. It comes and it goes, and there are moments of greater joy and less joy. And even the Bible does talk about that. But this is what Jesus talked about when he was um, defining his purpose and, and, and his work in, in each of our lives. This is what he said in John 15, uh, f- verse 5. He said, I am the vine, and you are the branches. And if you remain in me, and I in you, then you will produce much fruit. And without me, you can't do anything. And then in verse 9, Jesus goes on to say, as the Father loved me, I too have loved you. Remain in my love. And if you keep my commandments, now notice that's really important, you will remain in my love. Now, what is Jesus' commandment? It's to love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. He says, if you live that life, he says, you're going to remain in my love just as I kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. So Jesus showed us the way, essentially. He says, I have said these things to you so that my joy, there it is, my joy will be in you and your joy will be complete. Not an incomplete love but a kind of love that never, ever goes away. It's always in a state of completeness because of being connected to Jesus and connected to the vine of Jesus and and essentially receiving all the nourishment that God has for us in our life. See, I want to talk to you about this simple thing today is that joy is a miracle. It truly is. Jesus is talking about a supernatural intervention when when he himself is saying, I am going to be connected to you by, by the power of my spirit is what Jesus would be saying is that Jesus would always fuel our joy and there would never be a disconnection. And that when we experience that, when we experience that alignment of following Jesus, which is just a, honestly the fruit, of, the fruit of love of Jesus, just happens when you're connected to Jesus. That's just what happens to the branches. The branches just make fruit. If you ever go to a vineyard, they just, fruit just appears on the branches because they're connected they're connected to the vine. And the same is true for us in our life. We will experience joy, the miracle of joy, when we're connected to the supernatural person of Jesus Christ. And then the final thing is that joy comes from a life led by love, by the love of others, uh, and Jesus especially. You see, when you love Jesus, Jesus will call you to love others. And the result will be, the re- result will be joy. If you want to experience joy, Follow Jesus' commands. Follow his commands to love God and to love other people as yourself, and you will experience an abundant, abundant joy in your life. I pray that this would lift you up, this message, and even possibly spur you forward into uh, a day of joy, a week of joy, a month of continued joy as you lean into the person of Jesus, as you find yourself connected more and more to him. Now, we're excited about the next couple of weeks. As I said, Christmas Eve is coming up. We have three services at two and at 2 p.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m., and they'll be outside on the lawn of Highlands Church under the stars, the beautiful sky. We'll have candlelight that, that evening, and it will be a magical, socially distanced evening. And we're also going to have online services available for those of you that are still, uh, for whatever reason, whether it's for work or whether it's for pre-existing conditions that you feel that you uh, cannot engage in a socially distanced outside experience, we have that as well for you on Christmas Eve. We are praying for you. If there's anything that we can do to help you, will you please let us know? 
If there's anything we can pray for you for, just respond in this email that you just received and just let us know. We will pray for you. And if there's any way that you'd like to help out, we'd love to have that as well because we have lots of great ways to serve and especially at those three services. If you want to jump in, jump on board, we have some great teams to be a part of and you will definitely, as you love others as yourself, you will definitely be experiencing more joy through that. God bless, we love you and look forward to seeing you in the coming weeks. Take care.